time to head in the dugout. Presented by the Michigan High School Baseball Coaches Association. Believe in yourself, play together, all right? And have fun today, okay? You make an error, you strike out, all right? Put it away, all right? It's gonna happen. But they're Introduced to the great game of baseball as a kid by dad, along with his brother, Kevin Hubs has grown up in the game. A product of Mount Morris High School, Hubs took his talents to the next level where he played ball at Saginaw Valley State. A special ed teacher at Grand Blank, it wasn't long before he was coaching. Uh, I was an assistant for a few years um, and then took over the varsity position uh, five years ago. Kind of built it you know, from the youth up um, you know, so a lot of these kids, you know, I've known since they were, you know, fifth, sixth graders and things like that. Um, we try to just get the enthusiasm in the community. Uh, it's a big community, huge school, you know, almost 3,000 kids, but, you know, we've never had, you know, great baseball teams and things like that. Um, uh, you know, we've really started, you know, building it up these last few years and, you know, the kids have, you know, worked their butts off to, to get bigger and stronger and faster and all that stuff. So. Um, you know, we're, we're happy, and but you know, we're still not satisfied where we're at. Grand Blank has seen a rise to power in some of the big sports. Football reached the district finals this year, including knocking off perennial power Clarkston. The basketball team just won its first state championship. That raises the stakes in wanting to build a baseball team to state prominence. Those kids in basketball won a state championship this year, so you know, that's what these kids have their, you know, their hearts set on. Um, you know, I know football and some of the other sports are the same way. Softballs, you know, you know, ranked real high in the state too. So yeah, it, you know, I think everybody feeds off everyone else. 17 wins coming into this week and ranked in the top 20 in the state in Division I means expectations are high. Play the right way, success will follow. You know, I, all I ask is that, you know, they, they give their best effort each day. They hustle and they have a good attitude. Um, I think, you know, winning games and stuff comes along with with those things um, but you know our team chemistry is, is great uh, kids really root for each other um, you know so at the end of the day I mean yes would you like to win more games than you lose of course but um, you know I'm just happy that the kids are getting better they're having fun and you know they're learning life lessons out here that you know, may, they might not learn in a classroom and it's always about growing the game baseball in Michigan is you know kind of you know, underrated, frankly. You know, I know the, um, you know, the southern schools get a lot of the attention because you know they're, they're year round and things like that. But you know, we have more and more kids in this state that are, um, you know, going to some of these big schools. And you know, there's, you know, I think 14 or 15 kids, you know, in this game that are going to play for you know major colleges. Coach Hubble is a big proponent on building a tough schedule. Teams like number one Orchard Lake St. Mary's always provide the building blocks for a bright future. You know, iron sharpens iron, and I want to get the kids, you know, in uncomfortable, you know, situations so that, you know, come tournament time, uh, you know, they're not going to be in awe. One game at a time. I'm Lauren Plant for State Champs.